guys, and welcome to today's workout. Let's get into it. Just start some boxing shuffles. Knees slightly bent, just jumping side to side. Nice and warm. It's absolutely freezing here in Gisborne today. Pretty much got some snow falling outside, so nice and chilly. I'm happy to be warming up. So I'm just shoveling my hips from side to side. Good. I'm just going to step back and reach back like that, like that. So one foot over, step you back and reach it over the side. Good. Feel that nice stretch to the sides of your mats, shoulders, lower back, river needs it. Next one's gonna be a good morning. So I'm just being over like that, coming down and just lying straight up and out like that. Okay? So and out. Okay? Good morning and out. Sit. When we come up, same posture. Bring our lower back, the inner back, nice and warmed up. Few more. Next time we do one, two butt kicks, and one kick forward. So one, two butt kicks, one kick forward. One, two, one. So from the side it looks like that. So one, two, and then kick. So left kick, right kick, and then left out. And left, right, and left. Left, right, and left. Good. Left, right, left. Left, right, left. Obviously, you can alternate sides. Or you can do it on the same side. We'll just do the same side, okay? Good. Getting that make sure this kick here coming up nice and high, as high as you can. Remaining stable at the same time. Good. We go right kick. Left and then right kick. Good. So right butt kick, left butt kick, and right. Excellent. Bring our legs nice and warm. Hip flexors. Good. And always make sure that you know you're doing a bit of extra cardio work too if you can. I and mean, this is a, a basic warm up I'm doing for you guys here. Um, a little spice for the workout we're doing, but once again, you, know, you can get out, get for a, go out for a jog, a walk before you work out, some step ups, some skipping, some rowing, whatever you've got around the house. Good. Go do some walkouts. Just a walkout. Okay, so standing up, just walking straight out. All right, and I'll tap my shoulders like that. Walk back. Good. Walking out, and tap and tap. And back again. Getting our chest and shoulders nice and warm. A few more. Obviously these are too hard. You can go to your knees and do them, okay? Could do some fly jacks, which are just like so. Looks like a normal start jump, but 
with volume backwards with my hands. Like so I can just step back like that for a lower impact one. Okay. Just like so. Otherwise go back and do some of these ones. Good. Do some step through lunges. So I'm going to step forward with my right leg, step back with my right leg, and step out to the side with my right leg. Okay? Let's do that a few times. So we'll move forward a little bit. So I hit the wall, forward, back, and then out to your side. Okay? So forward, back, and out to your side. Good. Forward, back, and out to your side. Good swap sides. Forward. We're just getting our hip flexors and our quads, our hamstrings, nice and warm here. Forward, back. Make sure your front knee doesn't go over your toes. At any point, back, inside, one more, forward, back, inside. Just do some push ups now on your knees, like so, or on your feet. Just a few push ups getting nice and warm. Do the chest, shoulders, and triceps. So we'll turn over just some pelvic tilts. Just lifting up as far as I can. Like that again. So I'm gonna raise my pelvis right up. As far as I can. Few more. Last one. Awesome. All right. Small remote there. Okay, so grab a drink if you want, we'll get straight into it. Uh, what you'll need is a chair for today's workout or a bench, whatever you've got handy. So I'll just use a chair, I've already got one here. So we'll make sure you've got a chair. Use that one there. Okay, so the first exercise we're going to do is just a plank with a side step. This one here, just planking and stepping to the side. Oh, if it's too hard, you can do it on your knees. Okay, knees. That's the first exercise. We're going to do that for 60 seconds. Then we're going to do a, a prone Y, which is making the letter Y. Coming up, holding, and then down again. Up, holding, and then down for our lower back and our shoulders as well. Um, then we've got a deep lunge. So your deep lunge is going to be just like so. Right, we're coming straight down, like so. The way you normally find a position, if you've got a pillow at home, put a pillow on your knee or a mat. But basically, um, you want to be able to be rest there comfortably, and your knee doesn't want to be going over your toe. So from there, it's just straight up and straight down. I'm doing 60 seconds on each side, okay? So, get ready when it's straight into it. All right, so. Start that clock, ready to go. So 60 seconds on the clock, plank with the side step. I want you to set the timer to one minute, so that way it beeps when you finish. Okay, let's go. One minute started. So plank. 
Good, and stepping me out to your side. So with your plank, you want to make sure your core muscles are sucked in nice and tight. You're going to feel that gentle shake through your core when you do this one. Good, halfway already. Keep your bum down, nice and low. You just keep breathing as per normal. And that's time. Well done. Straight to our Y's, okay? We'll get straight into it. One plank to snake, and clock starts now. So we're lifting up, holding, making that little Y, and then back down. Wanna keep your neck looking down though. Don't look up like I'm looking. I'm just doing that to look at the camera. Otherwise if you, keeping your head down, coming up and making that little Y. Holding for a couple of seconds, so count to one, Two, and then back down again. Lifting up as high as I can. You want to be feeling it in the back of your shoulders, top of your shoulders, and of course your lower back. Doesn't matter how you put your feet, up to you. Good. Good, that's time. And stretch to our deep lunges. Ready to go. This one's 60 seconds on each leg. I'm starting off like so. Okay, ready? Clock starts now, let's go. So, straight down and straight up. Could even step further out on that one, slightly. Good. Shoulders back, chest up, nice and proud. Going all the way down and all the way up. Again, if this is too difficult for you, um, just do a normal lunge, holding onto the chair if you want, on the spot. Or if it's too easy, you've got dumbbells, hold your dumbbells, either by your sides, or you can hold your dumbbells up here as well, whatever you prefer. Good. Now we got five seconds to go. And we're going to swap sides straight away. This is straight into it. So, other loop over. And clock starts now. Let's go. Go straight down and straight up. So we're working our glutes here, our back, and we're working our quads, which is all the front of our legs. A little bit of hamstrings, an eccentric. Good. I like to call this a deep lunge, but the technical name for it is a Bulgarian split squat. Effectively, they're like a one-legged squat, I suppose. Which I'm not a big fan of. Um, I've seen too many people in CrossFit circles doing one-legged squats, always blow their knees out. Good, and that's time. Awesome. We're gonna get straight back into it. We're not having a break. Okay, ready? Clock starts now. Go, stretching plank, snow box. Good. Don't forget, keep your bum down as long as you can. And just stepping out to the sides.
Feel great, guys. Hang in there. Look at those abs burning today. Five seconds to go. Well done. Stretch your wires. So we're lying down. Clock starts now. Let's set up into our Y. To your upper body, your arms on top of the Y. And obviously, your main trunk is the bottom of the Y. You're really trying to lift those hands as high as you can. At the same time, keep them as straight as you can. Excellent work, well done guys, well done. Stretch my deep lunges. All right, one minute either side. Clock starts now, let's go. It's up to you if you wanna let your knee touch the ground or not. I wouldn't recommend it if there's a hard surface. Good. Gotta get those legs burning. Always want to make sure we work our legs the same amount that we work our body. You stay in balance. Especially when it comes to things like weight loss. Like, what a lot of people don't realise is that your legs are actually half your body. So to keep your legs really strong, you're going to be melting calories all the time. So it helps to turn your body into a raging inferno. So you melt calories while you sleep, literally. Good. Let's swap sides. Get ready to go. And clock starts now. Go for it. See my kids' movies finished, so I'm expecting them to run in every minute. <laughs> Apologies in advance. Twenty seconds ago, guys, doing great. Get out as many as you can. Make sure those legs burning. Grab a drink if you want it. Heart rate should, should be up a little bit now. So that was the first tricep that we've done today. So I haven't told you yet, we're doing four triceps. So that's three exercises in a row, two sets each. Next tricep we're going to do is an oblique crunch. First one, it's going to lie down. This arm comes straight out like that. These come up, and all I'm doing is crunching up, pivoting off that elbow here. So elbow. So crunching up, bringing this elbow towards that top knee, just like so. Little crunches. Obviously, we turn around the opposite side after that. 60 seconds each side. Then we've got plank push-ups, just like this one. So hand comes in, push up, and down again. We do 30 seconds on each side. So 
So let's say each side, right arm first, left, then right, left. Do it your knees and feet. And then after that, we're just gonna do some dips, okay? You've got your chair here, just some bench dips. That's my normal. Just straight down and straight up. All right, we're ready to go. 60 seconds, either side. Oblique crunches, eight o'clock starts now. Let's go. In and out, this bit, and crunching up. Good. Probably want to keep your elbow on the mat if you've got a hard ground. It's nice and soft. So we're working your obliques here. So your obliques are responsible for any twisting motion. In your core. Twisting. Good. If you want to make it harder, just visualize minimal weight on that elbow. All right? So hardly any weight on that elbow there. Well, there is weight on it, but I'm visualizing there's not. Good. Just to give you an extra burn and make it harder on your obliques to lift up your weight as opposed to just pushing off. You don't want to keep your knees bent too much. You don't want to keep them too straight either. Good. And the swapping sides. Okay. Let's go around this way. Clock starts now. Let's go. Some close to it. Good. Reaching all the way up, as high as you can. Already halfway. Should we start to fill those abs bird now? push-ups. Clock starts now, let's go. So I've been my right first, my left, then my right, then my left. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Like I said, go to your knees, that's too hard. It's only 30 seconds each side, okay? And I'll tell you when to swap. Right, left, right, left. Good, now left, right. Swapping sides. Left, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, right. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Left, right, right. Left, right. 10 seconds to go, hang in there. Put that bump down, core muscles on. And this time, we'll stretch our dips. Clock starts now, let's go. So, all the way down, and pushing out in that 45 degree angle if we can. So, my lower back's going down, running along the bench, and pushing out and away, squeezing those triceps. Again, down, and push out, squeeze those triceps. You can do this slow or fast, doesn't really matter. As long as you get that burn. I'm slowing it right down, really holding that weight for my triceps and pushing away. So really getting into that eccentric as opposed to just going fast like so. That's good too. Mix it up, you can do whatever you want. As long as you feel that burn, which you should, especially after the plank push-ups. Well done, that's time. We're gonna go straight to our, back to our bleed crunches, okay? So we're not having that break. The clock starts now for our bleed crunches. Let's go straight into it. So 
reaching all the way up. Crunching up as high as you can. Should we feel those abs burn now? That's the second round. Good, 10 seconds ago. Time, good swapping sides. Let's go. 60 seconds on the clock. Twenty seconds, guys. Hang in there. Getting out as many as you can. Can you go slow or fast? Up to you. What do you feel more? There's no right or wrong. Make this your last one. Good. Well done. Straight back to our plank push-ups. Ready to go? Clock starts now. And go for it. So right, left, right, right, left, good, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You don't have to do it this way, but it just makes sure that you get an even workout on both parts of your chest, shoulders and triceps, because the arms are pushing you off, you're doing more work. Good, then swap sides, left first, then right, left, right. You can alternate each time. Same as when you do lunges too, you know, you can do one side, then the other side, or you can do one, two, one, two, one, two. Time. Hold on. Straight to dips, guys. Okay. Clock starts now. Let's go. All the way down. Troll and push up and out. All the way down and up and out. Down and up. You want to make sure your feet aren't too close here like this, so make sure you don't do that, it makes it too easy. At the same time, don't make sure they're not too far out either. So pretty much at the right angles at your knees. And down. I'm going really slow, getting that eccentric burn there. And the last 15 seconds, it's going to pump them out. Come in as I can. Well done. Good work, guys. Grab a drink. I'm sure you're burning there. You're already halfway through your workout. How easy is that? Super easy. Don't keep these workouts too long. So. We're trying to keep the whole thing, wrap it up all done with warm up and cool down with an hour max, okay? So next one, what we've got, we've got mountain climbers. I'm gonna do one right touch to my right elbow, one left touch to my left elbow, then one touch to my right foot, or if you can't reach your foot, your knee or your thigh, and then one left touch 
left foot like that. Okay? So it looks like that. Knee, knee, touch, touch. Got it? That's the first exercise. Next one is our clams. Similar position to our bleak crunch. Thing like that. Back hand on my glutes, hinging from the uh, from your heel, your foretoe, and just opening up as wide as you can, okay? Just squeezing my glutes. Right, every single time. And the third exercise is the ski squat with a wall angel. Alright, or for slide. So like that, we're just sliding up as high as we can. Try to keep those elbows and back of your hands on the wall every time. Make sure I've got a right angle here as well. Okay? Legs and shoulders. Alright. When you're ready to get straight into it, keeping these rest periods to below the minute, which we are. Okay, so ready? Let's start with a mountain climber and a touch. Okay. This one is 60 seconds um, in total. Ready? Clock starts now. Go for it. So, one, two, touch, touch. So, one, two, and touch, and touch. One, two, touch. Touch, one, two, touch, touch, one, two, touch, touch, one, two, touch, touch, one, two. You can do this on your knees if you want to. Shouldn't need to though. It's not super hard. Good. Knee. Touch, touch, me, me, touch, touch, good. Um, one more, one, two, touch, and touch. Well done, that's time, good work. Stretch our clamps, 60 seconds on each side. Clock starts now, let's go. So opening all the way up. Squeezing my glute, my right butt here, right glute cheek. All the way open. So full 60 seconds here. Again, if you do this fast or slow, it's literally a pain in the butt, all right? It's what you should be feeling. Probably thinking I'm a pain in the butt right now. That's okay. I'm used to having a love hate relationship with all my clients. Good. Really squeezing. Awesome. And swap sides. 60 seconds. Clock starts now. Go for it. Gotta make sure you get the right body position. So if you're too far forward, move back. If you're too far back, move forward. You'll be able to feel where you get the maximum contraction through your glutes. Glutes are so important. So important for your whole stabilization of your pelvis. Good. I'm keeping a nice strong lower back as well. Time for one more. Good. And straight to a ski squat from Wall Angel. 60 seconds on the clock. Clock starts now. Go for it. Gonna make sure that you don't slip. So if you are on tiles or something, don't be in socks. Wear runners. Or use a mat that doesn't slip, a rubber mat. So once again, I'm making sure that my wrists, my elbows, are as close to the wall as possible. Every single time. Also, not arching through the lower back, making sure lower back stays planted 
right in against the wall, which makes it much harder. So this is as much of a posture exercise as it is a strength and conditioning exercise for both your shoulders and obviously working our legs here to hold ourselves there. Excellent work. We're not going to rest, sorry. We're going to go straight back to our mountain climbers with a toe touch. Here we go. Clock starts now. Let's go. So one, two, then touch and touch. One, two, touch and touch. One, two, touch, touch. One, two, touch. One, two, touch, and touch. One, two, touch, touch. Calls on the whole time here, okay? One, two, touch. When you're touching this knee, try and touch it as high as you can. The higher you touch it, the harder that is on your abs. One, two, touch, and touch. Good. Go on. Straight to our clams. Clock starts now. Let's do it. Sorry. I just lost it. Sorry, guys. Ignore that. What am I doing? We're doing clans. I was in my own little head then. Hopefully you picked up on that. I said clans when we're straight to our bleak crunches. Opening right up. One is your chin. I was trying to think which side I'd done first last time. And typical, in typical Rob fashion, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. So I meant to light the opposite way and it threw me out. But that's okay. Keep moving on. Opening right up. Good. The topping sides. No bleak crunches time. Straight to glute side lifts. Okay. Good. Really opening right up. You might feel like a difference, like I can feel that my right glute is able to extend, rotate around further than my left. And I think that's from the jogging, the tighten up my left side. And that's fine, it just means you, know, you need to pay attention to your body moment to moment and give it exactly what it needs. So I also need to stretch my left glutes and keep a little bit more, just to even that up. So yeah, try to pay attention to your body and keep everything symmetrical and even. Well done. Good. Last one. Ski squat. Okay, ready? The clock starts now. Let's go. So, wall slides. Sliding all the way up. And down. All the way up. And down. I can slide it out a bit if I want. Go up this way. Up to you how you want to do it. There's no right or wrong way in this one. You can even do your flies as well. All the way up and down. Your call. Press is probably one of the harder ones. Especially if you're tight in the shoulders like me. So we've all got our tight points and my shoulders are definitely tight. 
strongest point in my body. Good. Well done. Grab a drink if you want it. Doing well. I've only got one more tricep to go. Always make sure you sip on water. Okay, so the next one's just a side bridge, um, which is just like this. Okay, so we're just like that and holding, okay, in that position there. Um, or you can do it on your knee if you want, make it easier. You can put your arm up here if you want. You can do some of these if you want. Your arm goes through, and up and hold, up to you. You can dip down and up if you want. About 60 seconds at each side. We've got a two-way bird, two bird dog, which we've done, I think, last workout. So I'm my left arm and right leg while I'm up on my knee, and then I do the same thing up on my hand and foot if I can. So up, and then up, like so. All right, um, and we'll do 30 seconds on each side of that one. The last one, We'll just be some aeroplanes. So I'm just keeping my arms at about 180 degrees and rotating around for 60 seconds without dropping my arms down. Alright, so pretty easy one to finish off. So we're going to go straight to our side plank. I'll move this down here a little bit. Okay, ready? The clock starts. Now, go for it. Side plank. Keep your feet like that, you can keep them like that. Whether you feel stable. Keep your arm up here if you want. You can go through if you want to. Walk back, up, looking ahead. As long as you're holding your body as straight as you can, that's all I'm worried about. You're almost at time now, five seconds. Good, swap sides. The clock starts now, go for it. So again, if you're just holding here, go to your knees if it's too hard. We can go around if we want. Once again, so the hand goes through, rotate all the way around, back up and look at that hand. Good, keep your body nice and straight. As we get keep breathing, you don't want to be holding your breath. Five seconds to go. Hold on. Straight to our two way bird dog. Ready to go. Clock starts now. So hands and knees, lifting my left arm and right leg. And then same thing again left arm and right leg, my foot. Left arm and right leg, my knee. Left arm, right leg, my foot. Keep my bum down as long as I can. Good swap sides, right arm, left leg, lift up, right arm, left leg, right arm, left leg on your knee, right arm, left leg on your foot.
excellent work. It's the first one, second one, stretch by airplanes. Okay. Stretch in 60 seconds. Airplanes. You can do this standing or kneeling. Up to you. Basically, just drawing small circles from my shoulders. Keep those arms nice and straight the whole time. Doesn't matter which direction you go, you can swap directions. I want to keep my hands as close to the wall as possible. So here, as close to the wall as possible. I don't want my arms out here. Too easy. Okay? Keep them back. You can swap directions if you need to, if you want to. Once again, you've got tiny little weights, you can use tiny little weights here. Even cans, cans we've got up in the pantry. Don't need a lot of weight when you're holding it out here for so long. Good, well done. Then straight back to our side bridge, okay? Your shoulders will burn a little bit after doing that. Okay, side bridge starts now. Let's go side bridge again. I'm going to try something different this time. We've got up and down, okay? Sorry, down and up, down and up. Okay? This is probably even harder again. You can do some of those and you can combine them with these. So five of those, five of these. Bump nice and high. Four. Five. Good. And swapping sides. Here we go. Okay, clock starts now. Whoops, now. Okay. Let's go. So once again, holding up. Or if you want, do these ones. Your hip drops to three, four, you can do these the whole time, five, or combine them, no rules, just listen to your body, whatever it wants to do, you've got to always challenge it, three, if you're not challenging it, four, won't get stronger, five, good, one, To our bird dogs again. Okay, so clock starts in three seconds. Get in position. The clock starts now. So I'm lifting up my left arm and right leg, my knee, and the same thing on my foot. So left arm, right leg, left arm, right leg. I'm just trying to lift that as high as I can without tilting my pelvis. Okay, so keep my pelvis. Nice and straight here. Good, swap sides. So right arm, left leg. Right arm, left leg on your foot. Right arm, left leg on your knee. Right arm, left leg on your foot. Right arm, left leg. Well done, you stretch back your planes. Last set. Last exercise. Ready? Cross left now, let's go. Stand up and do these. You want to feel those shoulders burning here. 
we're going to try and visualize our shoulders doing all the work here. guys but I'm starting to feel that pump now. <laughs> Absolutely burning my arms. It's not so much this exercise, it's all the exercises you do before. So but pain is just weakness in the body, is what they say, so you just push through it. So as long as it's not bad pain. You never want to push through bad pain. It's good pain, yeah. Just enjoy it. Be its friend. Well done. High five. You made it through that workout. Awesome work. Grab a drink if you want it. Um, let's do uh, our pigeon stretcher downward dog first. So I'm pushing all the way back, heels towards the floor, bring right knee in, towards right elbow to straighten the pigeon, left leg, left ankle, sorry, right ankle towards the left hand, and surrounding down into that, and just sitting into that. Relaxing into that, you worked hard. You feel that releasing all through your glutes here. Oh, you can stretch out further around if you want. I'm going to bring my left arm around now. All right, so you yeah, feel that stretch from my lats there, all on this side. So getting a nice lat stretch in there. Holding that. So I'm pulling through this hand here. So I'm pulling force down. And I'm pulling through this arm, trying to get the shoulder as close to the ground as possible. Feel that stretch all the way from my lat muscle, which is all under my Armpit all the way down to midway to my lower back, my upper back, sorry. Coming up, yeah, lifting our right arm up as high as we can, left arm up as high as we can, both arms up as high as we can, hands together, reaching for the ceiling, leaning back as far as we can, and turning around to my right side. Feeling that stretch through my hip flexor, all through here, and sides of my lower back, and just holding that position and breathing. Could have been a stretch or a quad stretch, so my tank comes up, around, my left foot comes up, grabs on to my foot, bring my left heel towards my left bum cheek, and really stretch that. If you can't feel that, then you can grab with your left hand, grab your knee, kick your foot into your armpit, and then just lean back against that leg, and twist around. That's even a deeper stretch again. You should definitely feel that one. If you can't 
can't fill that one, then you can do this other one, which is just hook it in and grab the right hand, grab the left hand, and pull up like that there. It's even probably deeper again. And twisting around to the front again and around that way. So important to stretch guys. If you stretch after every workout, you will stay functional and you'll be in it for a long game. See so many guys and girls who just don't do enough stretching and get up with injuries. Good. It's doing our left knee to the left elbow, cross it in towards your right wrist, by the left leg back. And in the day, that's what it's all about, being in it for the long term. Should be feeling this all through your left glute. If you're not, shift that right knee further, further back and just sort it right down into it. Good. I'm going to get my lats into it now, so coming around, I can feel that stretch all through my lat muscles going all the way down here. You may feel it in the shoulder too, my shoulder's quite tight so I can feel that. You bring your head nice and close to the ground. Ceiling, leaning back at the same time, just breathing, and I'm twisting around to my left side now. up as high as I can. Feel a lot of tension come out of your hip flexor. Sides of the lower back, shoulders, wherever you need it. Good. Right hand comes up, right foot comes up. Good. Quad. Stretch your quad out from your heel to your bum. Once again, too easy. Grab on to your knee. And just twist around like so. So I really feel that one there. Just holding that, releasing as much as you can. Try the hook if you can. Try the hook it on this side. A bit longer. Good. Let's go straight to a child's pose actually. Child's pose. 
like so. You put your hands in, surrender into it. We're going to a hyperextension, so coming down, moving up, reaching up, shoulders back, chest up, switching out your lower back. We'll go right our left shoulder to the wall behind you. Go over your right shoulder, wall behind you. We'll do our hamstrings, so we'll go one leg forward, one leg back, as far as you can, and then bring your upper body down towards your knee, you feel that all through the back of your hamstring muscle, hold it. that's too challenging. Just sit down and bring this leg up and do it the other way. So this foot is here and reach normal way. You find this one too challenging. It is quite strenuous. It's basically a forward split. Every time you breathe out, just lowering down further and further, okay? Good. Let's go stretch on a duck to stretch while we're there. We're going to turn to the side like that. And I'm going to push my bum back, leaning in with this hand here. So I feel like all through my inner thighs. Leg. Right leg forward this time, left leg back. And once again, leaning forward. Do I feel that all the way through the back of my hamstring muscle? Just holding it, releasing every time, letting go further and further. Good. And tilt over. Once again, we're going straight to our adductor, so just flip around and bum back and grab onto your foot as you can. If you can't grab with your foot, just grab your lower and just holding that. Good. Okay, let's do our chest and shoulders. So I'm going to inflate the stomach. Arm over and we'll roll the straight over it like that. I'm right, trying to get these feet straight up if I can. If you want to more tension, bring that foot up and just push it out like that. So feeling that stretch all across your shoulders.
Give your head a rest if you want. Good. On the same arm, we're also going to do this stretch here. So it's got my arm out like that. And all I'm doing is keeping that right shoulder on the ground. No tenure. And I'm just pushing over, just like so, until I feel that stretch through my pecs there, and my shoulders. Just holding that, bringing this left leg back. Good. And we'll do the opposite side. Left arm straight out and twisting around. Releasing all that tension through your forearm and shoulder. There. You can bring your leg up if you want, apply a little bit more pressure if you need it. Good, knees down, left arm out, right hand here, and then push it up and around, like so. Feeling that all through my left pec and shoulder at a different angle. Good. Last one is just my triceps reaching back and I'm pulling down and across. Switching out all my triceps here. So yeah, that's it for today's workout. I hope you had fun. Um, I'm gonna be doing these workouts once again, two to three times a week um, is ideal. And all these workouts that I'm, I'm posting on here, um, for anyone who's new, were for all of our gym members. Um, we had to uh, close the gym because of the coronavirus and we've just been providing free workouts, weekly workouts for our members since. Um, so if you're new to this channel, um, yeah, thanks for joining and um, hope you enjoy the workouts. These workouts, uh, yeah, general workouts, got the opposite side. Um, when I say general, uh, they're great for weight loss, they're great for uh, increasing and maintaining strength, um, just general well-being, um, which is mostly what I, what I, what I train people for. Um, uh, yeah, so literally anyone can get benefit from these workouts, um, men, women, um, I suppose the age group for, for these workouts would be anyone from you know, 15, 16 years of age, right through to about 50 years of age, these workouts are targeted for, not to say if you're older, um, you can't do them, or if you're younger, you can't do them. But generally, that, that's that's the demographic that these workouts are targeted for. So, yeah, make sure you do it. And um, if you like this uh, workout, uh, give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. All right, thanks, guys. See you next week.